Welcome back to my channel, it's me Namarid, and today we have a very quick video on a pair of Nike Dunks. We have the Nike Dunk Low in the Rainbow Trout colorway. So as you see from the B-roll, we have the Rainbow Trout on hand. These are also called the Gone Fishing, but this particular colorway is called the Rainbow Trout colorway. Um, so this shoe came in a pack, or, or a quote unquote fake pack. So this is one of two. Um, the other colorway will be in another video. I'll be linking that right here. But for right now, let's just talk about this particular shoe. I'll be breaking down this video into three particular sections. I'll be talking about the looks of the shoe. Is the shoe worth copying? and my final thoughts on this particular shoe so starting off on the looks of the shoe we have suede running for the most part around the toe box and the heel as you can see from right here we have that showing through we have pink on the heel oh let me just help the camera all right so we have pink on the heel right here we have green suede right here and we also have orange suede on the heel counter or basically on the back of the heel and on the toe and on the medial sides of the shoe, we have suede running through it. On the mid mid panel of the foot and the outs, outer portion of the foot and the toe box, we have like a mesh material. It is black and it has yellow um, spots or sparkles or I guess like, I guess quote unquote scaling. I'm not quite sure the meaning of this um, pattern, but it looks pretty, it looks pretty, off-putting looks like maybe like frog um like poisonous frogs um skin but for the most part it's it's a jarring look but it's okay in my opinion um honestly the looks i'll probably have to rate it maybe like a seven ish out of ten because like it doesn't really blow you out the water i'll be maybe pun intended maybe not pun intended any who's um yeah it doesn't really blow you out the water um it's, a, it's definitely an acquired taste because when I first saw them, I was like, all right, the shoe is very ugly. And when I was purchasing them, I was like, yeah, I might have to like see them in hand just to make sure like if it's actually worth like, maybe I was wrong online, but like even when I had them in person, they're just like the materials, like the three different um materials is just kind of like, they work together, but also like they're very conflicting together, if that makes sense. I feel like it will be very hard to um, style this particular pair of shoes. It's hard in the sense like um, trying to match certain colors. Like if you're trying to just do like a two color outfit, maybe a pair of black pants and a um, nice um, forest green or like a nice dark green shirt, maybe that can work. But then again, you have pink going on, you have like a little purple going on, and you have orange going on at the same time. And like a off, maybe like a, a yellow like an off yellow color on the outsole of the foot and the medial side of the of the um, outsole so just like it's you have to be very meticulous with like the outfit combinations that you're going to be trying out with uh, without uh you have to be very meticulous with the uh, outfit choices you will be putting on with this particular shoe but again i'll give the shoe maybe like a seven out of ten on looks for sure so let's talk about is this shoe worth copying I would say it's definitely worth copying, but if you buy it under retail. Um, right now on the Nike app, you can find the shoe readily available for like 110. If you live in New York, um, you will be looking around paying like around 120 based on tax, um, cause shipping is free if you're a Nike member. Um, but with that being said, like 120 for the shoe is a decent, is a fair, fair price, but um, you can find the shoe for cheaper on marketplaces such as um, eBay, um, StockX, and Goat. I don't know why like the um, the secondary market on this particular shoe is so low, but even though the materials are high quality, um, the look of the shoe is it's it's clean. It's a it's a nice seven out of ten, but like the resale market, it does not replicate those um, metrics, but. Even if you do want to purchase them, I definitely recommend purchasing them for below retail for like maybe $95 ish taxes and whatever. Maybe it comes up to like 105. That's still $5 back into your pocket and you can definitely use that for something else. But I'll definitely say the shoe is worth it, but only if you can find it for below retail. Retail, maybe, 
but like overall i'll say definitely go the route of trying to find them for below retail for sure um lastly i want to talk about my final thoughts on the shoe honestly i would definitely say the shoe doesn't isn't it hasn't grown on me like i picked the shoe up on release date and i've been sitting on them for about a month now and i have yet to wear them one and two like the colorway has not been giving the uh, giving me the like the urge to wear them if that makes sense you know you have a per like for example you have a pair of shoes in your collection that just screams at you like or just wear me like for in my collection that pair of shoes is my shadow um jordan ones because like it's gray and black i can wear it that way i can wear that with everything but this shoe is just screaming like you have to wear me on a, a very very special occasion and i feel like that special occasion is like probably for the fall like middle of fall maybe very cold sweater weather x y and z but i feel like this shoe is not gonna be in rotation as much as i wanted it to be and i wanted it to i wanted the shoe to grow on me but like after a month of me not even like looking at this shoe and not even like taking any initiative to even try it on not, i'm not even say try it on but like, try it on and actually go out and like have a day this just shows that right it's not really for me like i just have it to do obviously do this review but like outside of this review like let's say i wasn't doing youtube like this shoe would not really be my cup of tea for sure but that's just my opinions um hopefully this video gives you some insight on this particular shoe hopefully the b-roll shows you like the quality of the material of the materials the materials are very nice but again it's just not my cup of tea overall how how the whole shoe is put together but i'll say definitely check it out in stores or purchase it online um purchase it and have a, if it if it has a um, return policy you can always return it and like there's no risk in try um buying it testing it out trying it on and just doing like that mini review for yourself but overall i'll definitely say this shoe is not my cup of tea and i'm going to definitely return these um back to nike but just just me but anywho hopefully you enjoyed this review i know this review might have been a little bit all over the place with like my thoughts but like i really have not a lot to say to about this particular shoe the rainbow trouts but yeah if you enjoy this type of content um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on post notification bell down below i'll be posting a lot more dunk videos and just a lot more content content in general but with that being said though enjoy and peace out